My name is Colin Folk, and this is the Three Hammer Challenge. Oh, this is gonna suck. Oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> The Three Hammer Challenge was inspired by this video, and if you haven't seen it, go take a look. It was one of the most inspiring videos in the world of singing steel that I've seen in a long time. So why three hammers? That would be too easy with four. Felt like it was a good time for me to get back to the roots of the art form. Pick up a couple hammers, take a couple pieces of metal, and just make something. I've done it this way, and I did it for about a year all by hand. And I thought it was about time that I got back to the origins. So why a challenge? Well, it's a challenge for two reasons. First is I want to challenge myself. It's been a long time since I've done everything by hand, and I think it's going to be a really tough task, but I think it's going to be really good for me, and a way for me to really get back in touch with the art form. The second reason it's a challenge is because I want to take that challenge and put it out to you. If you're a maker that hasn't made something by hand in a long time, like me, I think it's going to be something really good for you to do. If you're a maker who's never made something by hand, I also think it's going to be really good for you to do. And if you're someone who's feeling inspired to jump into this art form, this is a way you can see how you can do it all by hand. So what are the rules? Three hammers, no modular hammers, no pneumatics, no hydraulic presses, no prefabbed or pre-cut forms of any kind, and you have to do it all by hand. All right, let's get started. Decision time. My first choice, a wood sinking mallet from Jimmy's House of Hammers. Have to have this to sink a shell. Second choice, also an easy one, is I have to have a fine tuning hammer. This is my 24 ounce ball peen hammer that I'll be able to rough tune with. I'll definitely be able to fine tune with. I'll probably end up making dimples with it too. Now this is where the three hammer challenge gets a little tricky because I have one more hammer but I have a lot of other jobs I need to be able to do. I need to be able to sink, smooth, shape with this and maybe even rough tune with it. So this is my third choice. It's another wood mallet from Jimmy's House of Hammers and it's a little bit smaller than my sinking mallet. Alright, these are the ones. Let's do this. Steel of choice, 18 gauge, cold roll, 1008. Tie downs check. Dimples. I have these left over from my hand sinking days. Let's go through them. Feeling pretty nostalgic actually seeing some of these. I remember these, like I remember finding this piece of copper out in some scrapyard and cutting it by hand, and I used that on every subsequent instrument. 
I remember this one. This was this long aluminum tube. I had to use a hacksaw that the guy at the uh, salvage yard gave me. Each one of these has a little bit of history for me. And I didn't really care about the material. I was much more concerned about the, the range of sizes here. So um, this is a good start. We're gonna have to go through these and figure out who's who. Templates. This was kind of a tricky one. Um, tricky because I know a lot about notes and templates and, and whatnot, but uh, what I ended up doing was just taking a size that I thought would be an F3, and then in a spreadsheet on the computer, which I'll show you right now, I went ahead and used a little bit of math to just slowly size down, uh, taking into account that every note is about 96 to 97 percentage of the note that's a little bit bigger than it. And I am going to use these templates. And uh, for the dimples, we're gonna have to kind of mix and match here. All right, looks like we have a partner dimple for each one of our templates. I had a tough time choosing which scale to do. I wanted to choose something that was mostly universal, so I chose something in F minor, and I chose an F Voyager. So uh, Magic Hour in F with uh, eight notes, uh, going all the way up to E flat five. Bit of a disaster here, and actually kind of a rookie mistake. Um, there's one I was actually trying to be careful of making, and uh, it still happened, so clearly it's been a while. So what happened is, I cut an octagon so I could keep enough metal trapped under the ring here to then cut a flange, but it seems that things got shifted and I am overly short here. Too much metal got sucked in, so I'm left with no flange on that side, and actually it happened over here too. So uh, I'm going to have to go ahead and sink a shell again. Ooh. Take two, take two. Bigger octagon, maybe a little more bite out there. We'll see. here along what will be the long axis of the center note. And this is how I'm going to get my orientation for my dome because it's going to be an Audi. Is it pretty? Not particularly. Will it be functional? I hope so. Well, either way, the Audi's done. On to dimples.
wish I had another hammer. This is the first time I wished for a fourth hammer. Darn it. Time to shape. All right, shaping done. Let's go burn it. Tuning time, lots of work to do.
This is a scrapyard find. Uh, it's about the right size and it conveniently already had a chamfer on the edge here, so that should work well. I'm gonna put it here and hot glue it. All right, here goes nothing. I'm nervous. <laughs> so far, so good. Although I used Linotune for the rough tuning, I am going to forego using Linotune and for the final challenge, I am going to use my chromatic strobe tuners to fine tune this instrument. Cup of tea, check. Cookies, check. Fine tuning hammer, check.
concludes the three hammer challenge. It was harder in places where I thought it was going to be easy and it ended up being easier in places that I thought it was going to be challenging. For example, dimples ended up being way harder than I thought, while although laborious and it took the better part of two hours, sinking the shells by hand ended up not being so bad. I did, however, develop a blister on my thumb that was so bad my phone no longer recognized my thumbprint. So, would I do it again? Yes, but maybe not for a little while. I have, however, seen great improvements in my day-to-day -day work. The instruments I've worked on since doing the Three Hammer Challenge, there have been improvements. There was things I forgot about that I was forced to remember when sinking and smoothing a shell, and I've been fine-tuning and rough-tuning faster than I ever have. It made me really appreciate all the tools and technological advances that I and the general industry have made over the last few years, but it's still good to know that at the end of the day, I only need three hammers and I can make a handpan. Thanks for watching. You made it to the end of the video. Thanks for watching the whole thing. As a reward, you can enter by clicking this link to win the instrument that I made in this video. All you have to do, put your name in the hat, I draw a name, and on Christmas Day, I'll announce who won. Good luck.